And he, he said something that was very deceptively simple, but that I think is actually the foundation of good decisions and being successful, whether it's in a poker hand or in a life situation, and that's pay attention. Actually be present, be aware, pay attention to what other players are doing, pay attention to yourself. What are you doing? How are you acting? How are you feeling? What emotions are you feeling? Is there anything that's getting in the way of solid decision making? Are there any emotions that are clouding your judgment? Are you hungry? Are you tired? Are you angry? Are you sad? All of these things are things that you need to pay attention to because they're going to affect your decision calculus. But just as important is paying attention to every other person at the table even when you're not playing yourself, even when you're not involved in a hand. So many people just get tired because paying attention is hard. It's actually really hard work. And so they go on their phone, they, you know, they start scrolling through Twitter or social media. They start looking at the sports game on the monitor that's playing over there. They stop paying attention because, oh, well, I'm not in this hand, so why do I care? Why do I need to make notes? Well, the truly successful players are the ones who are constantly there and present and observing and taking notes because in poker and in life, information is power. You want to gather as much information as possible while revealing the, le uh, the least you possibly can yourself. And the only way to do that is to be present, to be attentive and to be fully immersed in whatever experience you're undertaking at the moment, whether it's playing poker or something totally different in a business context or a personal context. To me, that's, I think, the most powerful lesson that I've taken from the game of poker and applied to everyday life.